Now, join us for a special behind-the-scenes look at the first and fairest of them all, the making of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? It doesn't take a magic mirror to know that Walt Disney's genius for enchanting entertainment has given us many of our happiest childhood memories. But none of these would have been possible if he hadn't risked everything to bring Snow White to the screen. It all started in 1935 with Walt Disney's dream to create the first animated feature film starring seven unique individuals. Dwarf's names fit their personalities. This pompous looking individual is Doc, the self appointed leader of the group. Yeah, that's true. And this little fellow is bashful. He's secretly in love with Snow White. Gosh. And this funny face is Sneezy. He has hay fever. <laughs> old droopy eyes is called Sleepy. And happy here with a beaming smile. That's me. And this is Dopey. He don't talk none. <laughs> and old sourpuss here is Grumpy. <laughs> Disney artists went through many designs for Snow White before settling on the perfect fairy tale princess. I'm Snow White. Snow White? The princess? Yes. Walt and his animators were inventing a new art form, making up the rules as they went along, defining the craft for generations to come. The first thing I did when I got a little money to experiment, I uh, put all my artists back in school. Now, we were dealing in, in motion, movement, and the flow of movement, the flow of things, you know, action, reaction, all of that. So we had to set up our own school. Animators analyzed in minute detail every nuance of human movement. From this school of action analysis came the ability to make cartoon figures move convincingly, contributing to the breathtaking reality of Snow White. How do animators give a cartoon life? They start by laying out the script in comic book form as a storyboard. Key drawings represent each turning point in the action. Painted backgrounds set the mood, creating the world in which the characters live. Chimney crickets. Then the animators set to work. For each second of time on the screen, they have to make 24 separate drawings, each one a little bit different from the one before. When they're photographed in succession, a trick of the eye called persistence of vision makes them appear to move. Of the 25 songs written for Snow White, only eight made the final cut. Each of these was specifically tailored to play an important role in telling the story. Put them in the top. When hearts are high, the time will shine. So hit the where you were. While music enhanced the story, sound effects men enhanced the humor by devising noises that were sometimes realistic and sometimes just plain silly. Despite all the effort, not every scene that was animated made it onto the screen. This sequence, where the grateful dwarfs build a bed for Snow White, was begun but never completed. These animation drawings are from a part of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs that was never seen by the public. While this animation was still in the preliminary or pencil phase, we found that the overall picture was too long. Something had to be left out and this was it. You see, even though we liked the sequence, it was not essential to the telling of the story. So when you look at this sequence, it won't look like the picture as you remember seeing it in the theater. Instead, you will see the animator's original pencil drawing. Now, in its entirety, the song that never made it to the screen, Music in Your Soup.
What's the matter with Dopey? He swallowed his spoon. Hey, get me. I got him. Get 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 Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Shake it out. Here. I'll get it. Bend him over. That's it. Ready? Ready. Ready. Clear the way. During the two years of production, more than 750 Disney artists used over 500 miles of paper to create more than two million drawings and sketches. I didn't know what I had or what would happen or anything. We had the, the family fortune. We had everything wrapped up in Snow White. In fact, the, the banker, I think, was losing more sleep than I was. Finally, on December 21st, 1937, at the gala Hollywood premiere, all the effort, all the sleepless nights, all the risk and courage were put to the test. Any fears the movie wouldn't be accepted by an adult audience were answered by the sobs that echoed through the theater. Disney's greatest folly had become his greatest triumph, elevating animation to an art form and changing the face of motion pictures forever. The film went on to garner the industry's highest award when Shirley Temple presented Walt with an honorary Oscar and seven little Oscars. Isn't that great, Miss Shirley? Aren't you proud of it, Mr. Disney? Well, I'm so proud, I think I'll bust. <laughs> Years later, when asked to explain the secret of Snow White's appeal, Disney replied, Over at our place, we're sure of just one thing. Everybody in the world was once a child. So in planning a new picture, we don't think of grown-ups or children, but just of that kind, clean, unspoiled spot down deep in every one of us that the world has maybe made us forget, and maybe our pictures can help recall. Mm -hmm. 